Hi there, it's Cam Buxa coming to you this week from the SPCA. This week I'm going to be featuring a few cats for you, and I'm going to be starting off with this big guy sitting on my lap whose name is Mister. Uh, as like the saying goes, when you're this big they call you Mister. He is on the larger side. He's a nice big guy who's not too comfortable right now on my lap. But he is actually a very loving cat. He's actually very vocal, very friendly. He came to us as a stray with actually a bunch of dental problems. He had some dental work done, and unfortunately we had to do some more dental work. He's actually a toothless cat. Uh, not to be distraught by that, it just means that he'll probably have to be on a wet food diet for the rest of his life. Very loving, very friendly, very vocal. Not always the greatest on your lap, but uh, he certainly needs a home. At nine years old, a lot of us consider that to be middle-aged. So please, if you're considering a, a very vocal, friendly, big old boy who just loves his wet food, please come down to the shelter and speak with myself and we'd be happy to introduce you. Next up is another one of my favorites. I'm gonna feature Nick who's sitting here behind me. He's got quite the hairdo coming in. He came into the shelter, unfortunately, very, very heavily matted. He had not been groomed in a long time. His fur actually felt, I describe it as like cardboard. He's about a five-year-old male, um, quite affectionate as you can see. He loves to be handled and pet and whatnot. Somewhat vocal at times too, much like Mister, which is probably why they're two of my favorites because I do like it when they like to communicate. Um, not a lot of background past that other than the matting and we've taken care of him. He's ready to go. He's neutered. Please feel free to come down to the shelter and meet him. And last but certainly not least this week, I'm going to be featuring a cat that many of you people might already know. Uh, her name is Miracle. She came to the shelter in a very unfortunate situation a few months ago. She was the cat that was trapped in uh, what we refer to as a leg hold trap. It's a little more complicated than that, but it was that archaic steel and wooden device that had her leg trapped into it. When she first came into the shelter or vets, we were actually quite concerned she might lose her leg. Uh, but through the great work at the vets and as well as our volunteer foster parent, she has made a full recovery and now has full use of her leg. She is ready to go. The foster mom says she's very friendly. Uh, she had a cat at home and they did get along quite well. So she is good with cats. We're not too sure about dogs. So just like any of the other cats or animals here at the shelter, if you're interested in meeting her, or anybody else, feel free to come down to the shelter. We're open seven days a week from 12 noon till 4.30. You can always phone us at 250-861-7722. And myself or any one of the other staff members would be happy to help you. I'm Cam Buxa and we'll see you next time.